The Golden State Warriors news just keeps piling on at this point in time with more recent reports now coming out that the Golden State Warriors and even Boston Celtics are actually interested in potentially making a trade to get James Harden to the team. This is all being reported by Bobby Marks. Now we've heard a lot of news and a lot of theories and speculation on what's going to be happening with the Houston Rockets, especially considering Russell Westbrook just requested a trade. Now, it is believed that the Golden State Warriors are also interested in Russell Westbrook, and I have made a previous video on that, which I highly recommend you guys going out and actually checking out. You know, again, I pretty much just talk about what's going to be happening with Houston, all this type of stuff, what I feel like the trade could potentially be, etc. But again, with Russell Westbrook potentially being on the trade blocks and the Golden State Warriors being interested in him, even though I don't really feel like he makes the most amount of sense for the Golden State Warriors, there is no reason why the Warriors shouldn't at least be somewhat interested in James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Yes, they don't really fit their teams at all, and, you know, especially Russell Westbrook, who is a, you know, a predominant isolation focus type of point guard, very similar to James Harden. But again, the differences that I like to see with James Harden and Russell Westbrook is, although we haven't been able to see too much of James Harden play, you know, off ball in the last couple of years, we definitely know that he's actually capable of, he, you know, he has definitely played a lot of off-ball in previous years. He played a bit of off-ball with OKC when he was there at the start of his career. Has done a little bit so with Houston as well. And then obviously has played a little bit of off-ball with Russell Westbrook on the team. So it has been seen that he can play that off-ball type of role. I'm not exactly too much of a fan of Russell Westbrook to the Golden State Warriors. Just because I don't believe he can play off-ball. And considering the Golden State Warriors usually like to run... A similar type of style where they'll have Draymond Green handling the ball at least 45% of the game, I would say, you know, and then we'll say, sorry, and then you'd potentially have Steph Curry maybe do the 55% of the game. They do really like, you know, to have the ball in Draymond Green's hand and play him as a point forward. Steph Curry, you know, just being a natural point guard. They both really, you know, they work very well for each other because, yes, Draymond Green can't really play too much off ball because he's not a great shooter, but he's a great defender, and he's a great playmaker, and again, when Steph Curry's off the court, Draymond Green will be the main playmaker slash ball handler, you know, for the team. Now, again, bringing in Russell Westbrook, I don't really feel like it makes the most amount of sense, but James Harden, I could actually potentially see happen. Now, the reason why I could definitely see the Golden State Warriors going after James Harden is just based on the fact that the Warriors were really interested in trying to establish a real small ball lineup with having a point guard play that shooting guard type of role and then have, uh, you know, uh, Clay Thompson play the small forward. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about as well, this was more evident when the Golden State Warriors actually decided to trade for D'Angelo Russell and see if they could, you know, give D'Angelo Russell a season with Steph and see how it will go. And if it didn't work, then they would probably move on from D'Angelo Russell and see how they would go from there. Now, the issue with this is, is that D'Angelo Russell and Steph Curry really never had an opportunity to see how it worked. I believe they played less than 10 games with each other, and there was a predominant four at the start of the season, where it didn't really work that great. But again, they didn't have exactly too much time to work together at all. Then, again, just based on that fact that they didn't have that much time to work together, we never really got to see how it would all go at the end of the day. And even though I would say that D'Angelo Russell can play off ball, he does prefer to have the ball in his hands. And a player like Steph Curry, I just don't feel like they really make the most amount of sense to be on a team together. But I would really like to see an experiment of Steph Curry at point guard, James Harden at shooting guard, and Clay Thompson at small forward. Like, what can't that big three literally do? Like, I mean... James Harden and Steph Curry are both elite playmakers in the league. Two of the best playmakers in the league right now. Not just that, both of them are pretty efficient shooters. And even though some people might say, well, James Harden's only about 36% or so, you know, percent or so, so um, from three. That's not exactly the greatest, you know, to be compared to a, a shooter like Steph Curry. What people don't actually realize is the reason why his three-point percentage is not exactly that great it's just based on the fact that he does run a lot of those isolation type of plays. And a lot of them are very hard shots that he does take. And again, if he was to be put on the Golden State Warriors, I'm sure a lot of those shots, at least 50% of them, would definitely be turned into catch-and-shoot situations. 
Usually, yes, James Harden can be inconsistent on the catch and shoot, though. But if he knows that will be his role, there's I really can see him potentially boosting that up to 38 to 40% on the catch and shoot. That's just the type of player that James Harden could potentially be coming to if he does join the Golden State Warriors. And yes, I've been pretty vocal about Klay Thompson being at small forward. I don't really like it that much, but I definitely feel like this could actually potentially work. Now, why I say this could work is, yes, you would really see that, you know, again, Draymond Green would have the ball maybe 45% of the time. Steph Curry would have the ball about 55% of the time. And then, you know, again, when Steph goes to the bench or Draymond goes to the bench, it kind of swap, uh, they swap roles and... Whoever's on the court will be the point guard pretty much for the team or point forward in Draymond Green's case. You could say that, but if you bring James Harden onto the team, it will take the time out of Draymond Green's hands and all of this type of stuff. But honestly, with the player Steph Curry is, I definitely could see a way where Steph Curry takes less of the ball just to see James Harden, you know, be the main ball handler with Draymond Green. I still see a way, 100%, where Steph Curry, you know, shoots 25 to 30 points a game, even without the ball in his hands predominant of the time. If not, I could see a way where he could actually be, you know, better in it. Like, I mean, let's just look at this. Yes, James Harden would have the ball, but again, while Steph Curry's gone around in the NBA, his best playmaker to, you know, get him catch and shoot situations has usually been Draymond Green. They like to run these plays again where maybe uh, Clay Thompson or Draymond or whoever the center is will give a screen and then they'll get an open three here and there. Imagine if he had James Harden and Draymond Green to pass him the ball. I could definitely see him still again averaging the 25 to 30 points per game while James Harden keeping his 30 points and Draymond Green still having a pretty solid effect on the game and being a predominant ball handler on the court. So, again, I do really like this. I think the Golden State Warriors should definitely, you know, make a trade to try and get James Harden to the team. I think it would be very interesting. I can't see a team of Steph Curry at point guard, James Harden at shooting guard, Clay Thompson at small forward, Draymond Green at power forward, and they could definitely go out and sign a decent center like, you know, Sergi Barker has been rumored to go to the team as well. A starting five of that, they're not losing the championship. There's like no way you would think again. Look, I, I could be speaking too soon. Injuries could definitely happen. All this stuff could happen. The chemistry could be bad. But even if with the chemistry being terrible, geez, you would still think that that team would have a pretty easy run to try and get to the championship unless the Lakers make some drastic move to get, you know, a lot better than what they are right now. But again, what the trade would most likely be, I definitely feel like it would have to include that pick two, obviously. So it'd be that pick two, Lamelo Ball, at least three... Well, again, if they do select Lamelo Ball at pick two, which I'm sure the Rockets would most likely do if he's available. So, again, pick two, Andrew Wiggins would definitely be in it. Around three to four future first-round picks, I would say, would be in it as well. Again, they're going to be relatively not the greatest picks. I'll probably be like 25 to 30. So, when I'd say probably four first-round picks. If AD was four first-round picks and like three solid, very good young players, then again, that pick two, Andrew Wiggins, three to four first-round picks. And I'd say a young player like Eric Pascal or Jordan Poole would probably get the deal done. I mean, if you're the Rockets and you can bring in Andrew Wiggins, who's a pretty solid player, pick two, which could be Lamelo Ball, your future, you know, franchise player, and a bunch of first-round picks to help build the team, and a young player like Eric Pascal or Jordan Poole, you're probably not going to really decline that deal if you were the Houston Rockets. But again... Time will tell. I don't know. There definitely could be some other teams that offer some pretty good stuff up for James Harden as well. But again, I definitely guess we'll have to wait and see on that. But again, of course, I'd really like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Do you guys think the Golden State Warriors should go out and trade for James Harden? Do you guys think it'd be a bad idea? Do you guys think it'd be a good idea? Again, i definitely really like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. But of course, you know, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to comment in the comment section and subscribe to my gaming channel and IRL slash long channel. And also don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.